All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all honor and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Harakah Kurash, the bonds to the elders and the apostles of the Great Millstone, citations to Allah Akim, pushing his word with true sincerity and with charity. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, whom the word and he calls God, Jehovah Bahasham is in the name. Yahweh Shai is his son's name, who the word and he calls Jesus, and Harakah Kurash is the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> As always, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, like the Israelites, according to the Holy Scriptures, as well as the speckled birds, the scattered Israelite foreigners, scattered amongst other nations, whose outer appearance may seem to be of those nations to whom they've been scattered to, but whose lineage, through their father's line, go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are Israelites, no matter what your outer appearance may seem to be. And as always, on the body of from the Great Millstone Branch here in Chicago, and I'm back with you with another lesson. Um... This is going to be based on this uh, image I found on social media. And it's a shirt that people have for sale. It was entitled Jesus, which that's not the Lord's name. His real name is Yehowah Shai in the ancient Hebrew. It says, uh, I'm reading verbatim. It says, Jesus died for me. What an idiot. I would not die for him. You see? And then I like uh, doing lessons like this because it shows you the mindset and the wickedness that the people are engrossed in. You see? And it also proves hey, the scriptures to be true, man. Because in the latter day, a hey, gross darkness is going to be, uh, it says in Isaiah, I believe, 60, gross darkness. Matter of fact, let me grab that one first. Yep, Isaiah 60 and verse 1, for, it's like it says, Arise and shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of Yahweh is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. And grows darkness to people, but Yahweh shall rise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. You see? So, hey, these people are totally in, engulfed in gross darkness, man. Hey, nothing's off limits, you know? You got the alphabet movement. You know, you got people, hey, as, it's in a, as it says in the time of Noah, every thought was to continually do evil. These people have no reverence, which is a fearful respect that a heavenly father. Nothing's off limits, you know? The blasphemy, you know? Saying things which they ought not to do. You see? And it's a judgment for all this. This is 1 John 5 and verse 19. And we know that we are of the most high in the whole world, life and wickedness. So we know who's really following the Heavenly Father. And we know that the rest of the people, a hey, they're totally uh they're totally uh well they're a hey, they're defiled with the wickedness of this world and the pollutions of this world. I'm gonna read it again and we can go into some scriptures. This is uh the shirt that says, Jesus died for me. What an idiot. I would not die for him. Well, you go in the comment section. You got people that actually wear this shirt. That's actually inquiring about buying this shirt. Which shows you that this is the mindset of the majority of the people. But other than that, we're going to actually get into it. Because, hey, the Lord didn't die for for everybody, man. The Lord died for his people. This is uh, 2 Andrews 13 and verse 29. It says, Behold, the days come when the Most High will begin to deliver them that are upon the earth. Speaking of in the latter day, the, hey, Yahweh is going to sing Yahweh Shai. And song and it's like it. Isaiah the nineteen chapter says uh the Lord's gonna send them a savior and a mighty one that Yahweh Shai. It says we'll begin to deliver them that are upon the earth. It tells you in Matthew one and twenty one, he shall save his people from the hand of those that, that oppressed him, roughly paraphrasing. His people are you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, as well as the speckled birth. The elect is the ones that's gonna be a part of that first resurrection. It says verse thirty. And he shall come, speaking of Yahweh Shai, and he shall come to the astonishment of them that dwell on earth. Because the Lord, hey, he said, think not that I am come to send peace on the planet, nay, but a sword. You see, people have this idea that the Lord is coming back to bring peace and love and beam everybody into the sky. No, no, no. The Lord is coming. First off, before he gets here, the fire is going to be off scent. This place is already going to be lit. You know, it's going to be a uh, death, many, much death in the earth, many great calamities. You know, the wars. So when the Lord comes, hey, he's going to hey, bring that final judgment. And ultimately, he's coming to save his people. And hey, when he does come up, these people, they're not going to see a so-called white man with blonde hair. They're going to see a so-called black man with a, with a, with a, with a, uh, with a uh, gray, white fro, you know, and angry. So it says, verse 30, and he shall come to the astonishment that dwell on the earth. And those same people that they scoffed and talked shit about are, are the ones that's going to be delivered from the wrath of the Lamb. <laughs> so we're going to go into who the Lord really died for. This is John 11 and 49. And one of them named Cyphus, being the high priest that same year, said unto them, Ye know nothing at all, nor consider that it is expedient for us that one man shall die for the people, speaking of Yahweh Shai, and that the whole nation perish not. 
After this spake he not of himself, but being high priest that year, he prophesied that Yahweh should die for that nation. And who is that nation? The children of Israel. That's that's who the Lord, uh, that's who the Lord's people is. It tells you in, in Hebrews, I believe it's seven and fourteen. Uh uh Yahweh sprang out of the tribe of Ju off the out of the tribe of Judah. Judah was one of the sons of Jacob. Jacob's name was changed to Israel. It says, verse 52, and not for that nation only, but that also he should gather together in one, the children of God that were scattered abroad. So you may say, oh, did you see the nation and the children of God? The only people that are known as the children of God in the Holy Scriptures are the Israelites. This is James 1 and 1. It says, James, a servant of the Most High and of our Lord, Yahweh Mashiach, to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad. Greeting. You see, the 12 tribes of Israel, the, the Lord's people as a curse, they've been scattered to every nation that they've been. They've been scattered to every nation, and some of them even look like the nation to whom they've been scattered to. This is uh, Tobit 13 and verse 3. It says, Confess him before the Gentiles, ye children of Israel, for he have scattered us among them. You see? So the 12 tribes of Israel, the Lord's people, have been scattered amongst all nations. So when the Lord comes back and gather his elect, those are the children of Israel that's been scattered among all the four winds of heaven and amongst all these other nations. Those are the only people that's promised redemption and salvation. The rest of you people, if you're in America, you're you're doomed. Two thirds of the Lord's people are going to be cut off. The elect is going to be brought through the fire. This is Psalms 81 and 8. Hear, O my people, and I will testify unto thee, O Israel, if thou were hearken unto me. Proof showing you that the people of the Lord are the children of Israel. Amos 3 and verse 1, hear this word that Yahweh have spoken against thee, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up against, it's like you brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth, therefore I will punish you for all your iniquity. So the only people that the Heavenly Father has ever dealt with is the nation of Israel. You see? He said, You only have I known of all the nations of the earth. Therefore I will punish you for your iniquities. And we're in said situation that we're in right now. Due to our iniquities, re uh, revolting and rebellion against our power, he put these curses upon us. But hey, he's not, he's never gonna, oh, that's another good one. This, he's never gonna forsake his people. This is Psalms 148 and 13. Let them praise the name of Yahweh, for his name alone is excellent, his glory is above the earth and heaven. He also exhorted the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel, a people near unto him. Praise ye Yahweh. Showing you that the people of Israel are the true Israelites. It's like it's showing you that the people of the Lord, the people of God, are the Israelites. This is Psalms 147 and 19. He showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He have not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye Yahweh. Further proof that the Lord doesn't deal with these other nations. And you got Esau rocking his shirt, man. <laughs> but hey, all you Edomites, man, you're in for a great surprise, man. Because the same people you treated like shit. You didn't, you didn't talk down upon. You didn't make mockery of our Lord, of the Heavenly Father. It's going to be a judgment for that. One may go to John 3 and 16. It says, For the Most High so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. They go to that scripture and try and see, show, oh, see, Jesus, Jesus died for everybody. But in the New Testament, is three different words for the word world. You have oinkamene, which, which speaks about the inhabited planet. You have uh, eon, which goes into an age or uh, a period of time. And then you have uh, cosmos or cosmos, however you want to pronounce it, which goes into an apt and harmonious arrangement or constitution, order of government, a set of particulars. It says uh, ornament, decoration, adornment. It says uh, an aggregate or general collection of particulars of any sort. And that's speaking about the collection of uh, this speaking about Israel, you know, a set of particulars, man, because the Lord died for his nation. But first, the elect of his nation, then the rest of them, man. So in John 3 and 16, hey, the Lord wasn't referring to the entire inhabited world. He's referring to a set of particulars, his elect. You see. This is uh, Isaiah 45 and verse 17. But Israel shall be saved in Yahweh with an everlasting salvation. You see, the only people that's going to be delivered are the Israelites. You can read Isaiah the 14th chapter. It tells you that the Lord will yet choose Jacob. He will have mercy upon Israel and yet choose Jacob. Roughly paraphrasing. It says, ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. So that's the only people that's going to be delivered from the wrath that's to come. 
that's going to have a chance at salvation. It says, for thus saith Yahweh that created, verse 18, for thus saith Yahweh that created the heavens, the most high himself that formed the earth and made it, he have established it, he created it not in vain, he formed it to be inhabited, I am Yahweh and, and, and there is none else. Verse 19, I have not spoken in secret in a dark place of the earth, I said not unto the seed of Jacob, see ye me in vain, I Yahweh speak righteousness, I declare things that are right. So the Lord always sent his word unto Israel. You see, his people. Let me see. Isaiah 9 and verse 8. Yahweh sent a word into Jacob and have lighted upon Israel. So the word, the good tidings, the gospel, the deliverance, the transformation, the new bodies, that's all for the Israelites and no one else. You see? But I'm going to go ahead and grab this in Jude because hey, <laughs> all this, uh, all these harsh words and harsh saying that these people are speaking against the Savior. Hey, Esau, even the sub white man, has tricked you people into being Antichrist. Matter of fact, I'm going to grab that one before. Because that's what this world is full of. It's full of Antichrist or Anti-Anointing. This is 1 John 2 and verse 18. It says... Little children, it is the last time, and as you have heard that the anti-Messiah shall come, even now are there many anti-Messiahs, whereby we know that it is the last time. And we understand that it is the last days because of how the people are conducting themselves. Everyone is against the Heavenly Father. These people love the darkness. You know, you go on any of these websites or you go to any of these uh, social networks, all the, uh, all the women are alphabets, all the dudes are alphabets. <clears throat> They're goth. Everyone's a witch, you know, they're partaking this. They're blatantly telling you they participate in witchcraft. You can openly buy uh, Luigi boards and all manner of, uh, of things, you see? So we know it's the end of the days due to what's going on, you see? This is uh, Jude chapter 1. And, uh... In verse 14, it says, And Enoch also the seven from Adam prophesied of these, saying, Behold, Yahweh cometh with ten thousands of his saints to execute judgment upon all and convince all that are ungodly among them of their ungodly deeds, which they have ungodly committed, and of all their hard speeches, which ungodly sin sinners have spoken against him. So Yahweh Shai is good. Hey, he hears all these uh, hard speeches. He hear all these uh, blasphemies. He hear all these jokes, all these jests. Sure, he says, Jesus died for me. What an idiot. I would not die for him. And the scriptures tell you no greater love. This is John 15 and 13. I saw verse 12. This is my commandment that ye love one another as I have loved you. Greater love have no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. You see? But in this world, hey, they take the truth of the most high and turn it to a lie. You know? Uh, these people, they, they're too funny, you know. Everything's a fucking joke. And then they, they cap it off. <laughs> this air top aside, man. I would not die for him. Hey, these people are pieces of shit, man. And the Lord's going to come back and issue judgment for all of that. You see? So, hey, Lord willing, this was a edifying lesson. Call Halayim La. Yahweh Bahasham. Yahweh Shai Bahasham. Hawaka Kurash. The bond to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone. Salutations to all the I can push this word with two certain with charity. Shalom, Barkatham, Wa Ababa Ball.